Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds, and today I got a really special car down here in South Florida where I was hired to come down here for a possible endorsement inspection for an possible endorsement on a 1970 Chevelle SS396 L34 convertible. The car does check out to be an authentic SS396 Chevelle. Really, really cool car. Factory Fathom Blue, white bucket seat interior, white top, white stripes, cal induction, really highly optioned car. And to my knowledge, this might be the very first convertible from the Baltimore, Maryland assembly plant. I don't think, and I recall that I have ever seen a September of 69, 70 Chevelle convertible from Baltimore to date as of yet. So it's definitely one of the earliest convertibles right at the beginning of production. So we'll go around this car. I'll show you what's cool about it. Um, it the car did have deluxe seat belts. The, the, the side glass is still original. It's a numbers matching car, the engine, which I will post the pictures and photos of the authentic stamps of the engine, the transmission. The car has been changed to four speed. It was a factory automatic, but the original Turbo 400 transmission does go with the car with an iron clad VIN stamp on the side of that as well. Matches the VIN uh, and the correct font stamp on the engine. The CTW engine is still in this car as we speak. So here we go. We'll go around the car. Right off the bat, you can see it has a cal induction hood, which I do believe the cal induction hood has been changed on a September car. It has the second version hood on the car. You can see it does have a T3 headlight for a high beam on this side. A really really cool car the stripes are really nice for a repainted car the car has been restored does have some reproduction here and there but very typical but really really nice car you don't find many true ss396 convertibles uh today anymore that still retain their original engine with a build sheet so this is a pretty rare car for sure so lift the hood and we will go from there and I'll show you some items under the hood that are pretty neat. Some day two items, of course, have been added like they all have. You can see it does have the second version cal induction hood on the car. Of course, a Baltimore car should have plastic inner fenders. It does have aluminum radiator. But I did check the VIN and the font on the engine stamp. And I will try to focus on that the best I can. If we can't get it, then we'll just move along. Right in there, not real good. Not real easy to get a view of that with the alternator in place. But again, check my social media pics of the engine and transmission will be there. You can see the original radiator support for the heavy duty cooling still in place. All, again, all air conditioning cars with big block did have the four row heavy duty cooling radiator. Car still has for whatever it's worth the 69 alternator bracket, which in my opinion, it probably has been on this car since day one. Again, the car was born fathom blue. It is now black with white stripes. And a, a really cool part of this car uh, is this, this car is up for sale. So if you will, check the description of the video for the contact information and contact the individual for a price because the car is going up for sale. This car can be bought. So do not hesitate to reach out to the owner. Again, it was born fathom blue. It is now black with white stripes. Very stunning car, to say the least. Car did have cal induction, tack engages, and automatic, and all three provisions, which I will not be able to focus in this video, but all three provisions are in the firewall, which definitely coincide with an, auth an authentic car that had those three options from the factory. Another cool 
option on this car, which I can't focus on, but it does have an automatic steering column still in the car. And the car was born with tilt steering, which that I will show you that here in just a few seconds. Let's go over the cow tag, which we always do on this Baltimore convertible. So 70 for 1970, 136, 367 for the two door convertible. And then the, if I can focus, the B1366600, that is in box, not, that is not the body number. That's in box 24 of the build sheet. 791 for white bucket seat interior. And then 28A for Fathom Blue, white convertible top, and then 09D for the fourth week of September. And then the BD are the data processing figures for the Baltimore, Maryland assembly plant. Go down this side, you can see, I do believe that these fenders have been changed because the SS396R tad high. Most people will not know that, but you can see they're just a fraction high. I do believe the doors to be original to the car because they're side glass. This is dated August of 69. This glass is dated May of 69. The car does retain all of the original deluxe seat belts, which is really cool. During the restoration, some individual was smart enough not to get rid of that. You can see 27th week of 69. All of the seat belts still in the car. And you can see, like I was telling you, the factory. You can see the, the old and the age, a little patina on the steering column. You can tell that steering column has never been out of this car. So the factory tilt column and wheel is still here. We do have a reproduction dash. Car was born with UM2, AM, FM, and tape, eight track, and it still resides in this reproduction dash. And of course, the rest of the interior is really, really nice. Restored. Moving around to the back side, the original Super Sport wheels are not here, but for a car, if you're going to ride and drive, this car is really gonna turn the heads with the radial tires and the 15 inch wheels, it's really set up to enjoy. A lot of guys really would rather have a car like that rather than the 14 inch wheels with the bias ply tires. Walk around this way. I'll open the trunk for you. Get a few shots of the, the inside of the trunk area and check out the stripes. Did a pretty good job on the dimensions on the stripes. Pretty spot on there. The paint and body of the car is really, really nice. You can see the original spatter paint, it has been restored. And we got a reproduction rear bumper pad, which generally, again, really, really common restoration points on a, on a car this old. You know, it is a 55, going on 55 year old car, so. Just some shots of this side of the interior. Cool white bucket seat interior still resides with the car. Again, the car was born with an automatic floor shift. The automatic transmission is still with the car. Check my social media site for photos of the stamp and the tag on the transmission and the engine. Those will be posted and this car again will be for sale. You must contact the owner of the car and the contact information to get the price. The price will not be listed on any of my social media pages or on YouTube. Get you a good idea down this side of the car. Again, this possibly is one of the earliest, if not the earliest, 70 Chevelle Super Sport convertible to come from the Baltimore, Maryland assembly plant. Really, really cool. But we do have a second version hood, so I'm just not buying that that's the original hood to this car. And we got, you know, the fender emblems are a little too high. So when during the restoration, 
A few changes have been made. Very, very common with these cars, you know, 50 some years down the road. Car does sound very, very healthy with a CTW 854 engine. The casting date, which I'll have a photo of that as well on my social media page, Facebook, was H28, August 28th. And the engine build date was September the 16th, 1969, with the authentic Baltimore VIN stamp. Go down the driver's side one more time. Again, bucket seats, automatic, deluxe seat belts, deluxe lighting package, tilt steering column, SS396, air condition, really, really nice car. Definitely a car you would like to have and cruise around in. But a lot of guys like the four speed, so the guy, you know, the car was changed and altered to that. And the car is now also black with white stripes. It would be up to anybody else. A, a fully matching SS396 convertible is worthy of an invest. It's definitely an investment quality type car with the market with these cars. Who knows where it's going to go? I venture at some point in this car's life. It's somebody possibly maybe put the automatic back in it and go back fathom blue, totally up to the owner. But you know, 10 years from now, we all know the, the, the consistent trend with these cars, they just keep climbing in value. So, you know, the time's coming when this car might be restored again back to the factory blue, but that would be up to the owner because it is very striking with the black with the white stripes and the four speed. So let's focus over here. I want to show you a few shots of the build sheet before we close. You see the 930, electric door locks, power windows, straddle bucket seats, door emblem SS, air conditioning, hood and deck stripes, positive traction, tilt steering column, M40, L34. Car did come with heavy duty battery, instrument panel gauges, AM, FM, and tape and spectral duct cowl induction hood. Some of the, the information that would be really crucial to, to document this build sheet to the car is missing. Being such an early car, it even has a little bit of a unique, it was shipped to a region rather than a dealer, which is pretty cool. So a really unique car with an ironclad engine and transmission stamp. So the car is definitely authentic and it will be receiving my endorsement. Down here in South Florida, really nice place. I was fortunate enough to come down here and spend some time with these, the owner of this car, which is really, really nice. So again, 1970 Chevelle SS396, matching numbers, one of the earliest convertibles you will ever see, if not the earliest. I don't know if anybody has an earlier convertible from Baltimore. Please come forward because I think this one's going to take the cake. Um, don't hesitate to reach out. Check the description for the contact information of the owner of this car. It's not going to last long, I can tell you. This is definitely an investment quality car. I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols with Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. I really appreciate all of the likes, the comments, and everything on my page. So don't hesitate to participate and I really appreciate all that if you need your 70 Chevelle authenticated don't hesitate to reach out to me at those particular site on my social media site or on P Nichols 26 at Yahoo again 1970 Chevelle SS 396 up for sale more videos on the way